What's up, my fellow Flyers? Welcome back again here on FPV Raw. Uh, this is going to be a little segment here, a little little short one, kind of an up-to-date uh, that I'm going to try to give you. Uh, just something for you guys to listen to. Midweek, if you're dealing with some bullshit, dealing with some crap that you got to do at work or whatever, something like this might help you out just a little bit. But uh, since we are all in the hobby and I figure, uh, give, your, give your brain something to kind of mulch on through the rest of the week and um i figured this would help so i'm still playing with uh with the audio here and i want to make sure it sounds great and sounds like it's nice and mm, like mm. but uh, i'm gonna do my best uh i'll be your host ruben hadagi here on fpv raw where i'm gonna try to give you the best and shortest uh bits of information as i can not keep it long and boring because boring long and boring is fucking it, it's it's pretty goddamn boring i wanted to talk about the build that i was doing um a week before and this is kind of like an update that i was building a juggernaut for 8s and i posted some pictures on my instagram page that you guys can get some sneak peeks i've been trying to kind of like just hint at it uh i got the um I just, i'm doing like the the snow skids and the winglets um all gooped up so like where all the flutes are uh i seal them up with the with the goop and give them a final take i touch everything up and it's it's looking pretty damn good i just have a uh a dipole antenna on there just just for for right now and i'm gonna see how it does at the field uh, just for the the basic uh main preliminary tests do some test runs i'll mainly do line of sight i got salt the main in it uh made in it and get it up in the air but right now it's raining like a motherfucker right now it's it's freaking raining i didn't think it was gonna rain we had like weather in like the high to like high 80 or no like the high 70s low 80s around there and uh you know i wanted to go flying this weekend for once it's been a couple it's been a couple months i'm not gonna lie actually since i've been back from I think since I've been from, let's see, since we got back to Hawaii, maybe a little bit. It's been it's been some been some time. I don't really, I don't fly too often. I'm only uh, just sitting inside. But this is the project that I wanted to finish. I've been just putting along, um, casually, casually, and getting it done. So, um, I would like to thank and give a shout out to uh, my buddy Colt. He's out there on the East Coast. He's doing all uh, my vinyl work. So hopefully he continues to hook me up and I will continue to help him out and say, go check him out. Uh, go to Ninja Raps um, and, and, and go check out his, his Instagram page is, is, is working. It's working its way. He has a website that is linked on his web page or is linked on his uh, Instagram page. So go check out Colt's, um, Colt's page. It's Instagram uh ninja raps i think ninja raps one you'll you'll be able to find him it's uh he's he's doing pretty good stuff he's got a, like really nice prints um uh, we're working with like uh i think the one that you've seen uh if you do follow me on instagram the it's the it's like a yellow and pink kind of like a circuit board i think it's pretty kick ass i i don't know about you it looks it looks cool because it's different. Um, I'm a big fan of pink wings, especially hot, bright pink. Uh, it's killer when you're looking for them in the sky and when you do go down in the bush. <laughs> Not your lady's bush. I mean the bush, like the grass, the, gr the greenery. You could spot it a mile away. It's just, it's just super, it's, it's just bright. I love, I, I like pink. Um, and the yellow uh looks really good the yellow accents um it looks really good and then he hooked me up with the fpv raw podcast uh logo it's it's uh um the graphic underneath is is all 
all the uh, FPV Raw logo. So it's cool. This is a logo that uh, I had help um, from Robert. Uh, Rob, uh, I, I told him, I was like, look, I got these diagrams here. So he, he, he's better at using, um, uh, I think it's uh, Adobe Illustrator. And I kind of gave him a drawing, what I drew up. And he brought back, I, well, we're gonna. I told him we're gonna piece it together and just kind of use if I can use bits and pieces if he can help me out. So I gave him some pictures, and he gave me uh, a a image, um, an, an an AI AI file, uh, Adobe Illustrator file, and so I just kind of like picked and choose some of the pieces that he had and drug it over to Photoshop, and then I made I made the pictures and I I tweaked the. Uh, the wording so it wraps and fits so that's that's the logo you guys see i, I made it myself <laughs> uh the first uh the first uh run was all right it was our it was all right but i think i thought it, it could have been better i wanted the silhouette of the microphone in the middle so that's that's that that's what you guys you guys you guys have seen it but um and then my logo my wing and then i got a little mini quad in there um just just to make it all around because i'm gonna um you know i wanted to be an all around kind of a podcast where we can bullshit and get other guys on here who, who are familiar and then kind of give their input. So everyone else can know, but, uh, uh he hooked it up. I, 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 that was actually, that was a kind of a long tangent. I went off on the deep end there, but, um, I, <laughs> I, I had the JPEG file and I didn't, I don't know how to do illustrator, uh, that, that well. So I just used Photoshop, got it, Got it to where I wanted it, uh, made it in, in a large scale in Photoshop. And, and then I sent it over, um, to uh, Colt and then he printed, printed out a whole bunch and it looks freaking cool. It's like a sticker bomb, uh, FPV, <laughs> FPV raw podcast sticker bomb. And then on another one, he, he hooked me up with a sticker bomb of all my logos. So the runt flinch juggernaut behemoth dreadnought and my sweep wings logo and all the logos that were done were done by my sister-in-law uh sarah she helped me out thank you very much sarah she doesn't listen to the podcast but I'm, I'm giving her a shout out anyways but she helped me out um i i we we worked together on that one i said i needed an updated logo i need something cool give me something you know give me something with with flow that has motion and then let's use my old logo that i drew up um back in the day and we got that all together and we got the swooshes going, the little swooshy whoosh. Uh, and, and so that's the logo. So we got a sticker bomb. Colt hooked it up and did a sticker bomb for me. So I got fat shark, uh, sticker bomb, uh, housing f for the fat shark. And it's cool because I can just pull the stickers off and I can put another decal on there. And, uh, so he did that. He gave me some other templates, um, to play with. So I do appreciate that. And, um, uh, if you look back a little bit further on my Instagram, uh, Robert drew me a awesome character. It's, it was a, cause I'm a big fan of comic books. I like comic books and, and, um, DC and Marvel, their storylines, uh, like the civil wars, the, um, planet Hulks, uh, are my favorite world war Hulks, uh, Hulks versus whatever, uh, just that type of, of characteristics, uh, in, in terms of like drawing and, and action. So he drew me a, a character for the flinch, which is pretty badass. I said, I got an idea. I like these colors. Um, I like playing wow a lot. World of Warcraft. If you guys don't know, if you guys play world of Warcraft, you guys don't understand uh, how much fun it is. If you don't, it's, it's okay. Um, you guys it's a video it's a video game it's a lot of fun i enjoy playing it i don't play a lot i have a guild that i'm the only one in but i like to run around and it's you guys probably don't want to know but anyways i have a lot of fun i, I still play i've been playing since uh back in the day and uh, i like playing with myself <laughs> not with myself i mean i'm not the only one that logs in everyone else is kind of like we had a group and then we like disappeared and now like I see them log in, but they don't want to hang out with me. But it's cool. It's cool. I like playing around. Uh, right now it's on Legion. Uh, I'm collecting all my Nether shards. I got my epics and all that good stuff. So I'm doing good. I'm like 880. So I don't get a raid. So I'm just doing uh, LFR, look for, looking for raids by myself. So 
um, totally went sideways on there. But anyways, the character, <laughs> the character, uh, the coloring is based off of Legion, um, the fell, uh, fell magic, the fell fire, uh, the character like Illidan, uh, you guys probably don't know. It's totally okay, but I'm giving you some of the history uh, and background of stuff that I use for my ideas and designs because uh, the Fellfire is pretty. Um, so that is kind of like a mashup of a character, uh, comic book style, and then giving the wing that I make a character, like giving it, giving it something. And so I use that when I race and that was like the logo or not the logo, it was kind of like the, like the theme of having an action figure. It was cool. I really do like it. It's definitely going to be a wing that I'm going to keep forever. It's here in my shop. I'm it's, it's my, it, it's going to go in my China cabinet. It's all cleaned up and I just take care of it. So it's a very, very, uh, has a lot of sentimental value, uh, with me, just like my pink wing has a lot of sentimental value, um, to me. And, uh, I love when, when guys like to help out because, um, you know, helping out in, in, in networking with people to, to kind of give you a hand. It's so much freaking it. The, the, the badassery is awesome. I, I love it because I, I always forget that I give stuff out. A lot of people, I, li- I give out a lot of uh, information. Um, I like, I like giving stuff to people. Uh, I, I don't know why I just do. I like giving stuff, um, stuff that I don't use, um, stuff that, that I think people need. And, uh, I, I just, I just do. I, I don't worry about the uh, rewards in, in return, although it is pretty cool when you see it out of the blue. You're like, <gasps> oh my God, like, holy crap, there's my logo. It, it's, it's very cool to me. It's very nerdish uh, when I see stuff like that. It's like when a, when a legendary drops um, out of the blue, like my, my necklace in my video game on my tank, my DK tank, my legendary dropped. And then I was like, holy crap. And then my ring dropped. <laughs> I'm a fucking nerd. Anyways, uh, I like doing stuff like that because the returns mean so much to me on a personal level. It's just, it's just cool. It's really freaking cool. And then people that do like take advantage of me, I do spot them and I'm more than likely will just ignore them uh, because what happens is they'll hear me say it and then they start begging for stuff. But I, really... I want to see content. If you're going to ask for something, I want to see content. Like I want to see, like, let me see if you've been in the trenches, I'll go search that shit out. And you know, if, you know, if I'm going to help you out, I want to see that. I want to see your homework. It's kind of like when I go out and ask for help from companies, like I'm going to give you my homework, my videos, uh, my, my background, my history. I'm going to give you that. And that's, that's worth a lot more than me just telling you. Like I can tell you and bullshit you, um, a bunch of crap and, but you know, bullshit is, you know, bullshit's bullshit. It, uh, you know, you want proof, you get a video, you get, you get a ton of video, compile it, and then you can show them. So that's how I ask for help for companies that are out there, bigger companies, um, you know, to help me out. So like sponsors, you know, I've, I've touched on sponsors going back and that's kind of like, it, it, it goes hand in hand. Like they want to see what you, what you can do. Same principle with me. I want to see what you can do if you're going to ask for something. Um, and you know, I want to see, I want to see what you got, but, um, you know, don't, don't start throwing shit at me now, but I'm going to be like, oh fuck. Cause, <laughs> uh, you get a lot of shit, but just, just hang tight. If I don't say nothing, don't get mad. Don't get mad. I'm just going to look through it and see what I got. Um, but yeah, I got some, I got to send some stuff out to, to some, some of my friends that are out there in our interwebs and help them out because they have helped me out. And so I'm going to help them out. And it's, it's kind of, it's kind of what we do. It's, it's cheaper that way because, you know, spending money, it's, it's it starts to pile up, uh, and doing stuff like that. Um, but you know, if I have a, have stuff that they, they can use, I think it's beneficial for them because I'm not using it. I know they can, they can, you know goof around with it a lot better than I can because um you know it's just it's helping guys it's helping that's what it's all about and uh you know like like the going back to the decals you can see how far I I ventured off but 
I'm wrapping it around. I'm wrapping it around. But the decals look great. I do love them. Um, the the wing that I was making and I was talking about <laughs> uh, a while ago <laughs> or last week, uh, depending on when I released this. But um, it's it's done. It's done now, and I'm gonna do some pictures. Like I said before, it's raining. Yeah, I wanted a made in it uh, here soon. I got some batteries. Oh, big shout out. Before I go sidetrack, big shout out to to uh, uh, APC props, and and here's why. Okay, I spent like I bought a bunch of props from them, and I spent about 30, 30 40 bucks on some props, and you know they're they're not they're they're good price. They're a good price, and I need a specific prop. I need a sport prop, nice and thick. <laughs> um, but I needed some beefy ass props. And I told him, I, I emailed, I emailed Robert. I said, hey man, I'm going to order some props from you. Uh, an, an APC prop. I'm in California. They're in California. Uh, from my location to them, their location, their shop, they're close to me, which is really freaking cool. And I met up, uh, at, we went to like a little, kind of like a meetup type deal. And they were there. Um, uh, Robert, you know, they, 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 they sh I shook their hands. They're just super nice people. And, uh, they, you know, they've been doing it for years and they're just, they're local. So, um, that's just awesome. I, I would have local company. Oh, hell, hell to the motherfucking. Yeah. Um, so yeah, good for them. And, uh, I do appreciate their help because I told them I bought some props for testing for some, for a project that I was doing. And uh, they said, don't worry about it. We'll cover it. And I was like, what? I just bought them. So I'm kind of excited. <laughs> uh, I'm really excited about that because, uh, you know, I, did, I didn't expect it. I was going to, I spent money and they said, don't worry about it. And to me, that's just, that's just so cool. It, it really is. It's just cool. Um, and like run, I, I run cam was a sponsor and I told them, uh, you know, I needed some cameras, but. I was like, where can I buy them? Like, where, where can I buy from you guys? And so they gave me the link, which was cool. And, uh, uh like I said, I wanted the, the new session and stuff, but, um, you know, maybe, uh, I don't know, maybe I'll get it. I'm not too sure, but I bought like three run cams. I bought the, uh, the, my, the mini swift, I bought like two mini swifts just so I can have one and then have one for a backup just in case. And then I brought their night Eagle, their night eagle yeah night eagle too or night owl eagle night eagle owl donkey it's one of those things that they labeled um it's one of those it's got a funny ass name i think it's a night eagle i think it is uh and i i i upgraded the lens to a starlight lens i took the old one out which was fine but i when i did the test at night with no lights here because it's at night right it's at night um uh, the starlight lens, which is hard to find. It's a $20 lens. If you are looking for it, it's massive. There isn't any huge magnification. It's, it's a, the equivalent of a, like a 2.1 lens. So it's really kind of like fisheye, but it's, it's open. It's such a large, um, element on the front that it just lets all the light in. It captures all the light and it increases the visibility with this lens. So I, you know, I, I big ups to run cam, um, because you know, they, they're on Amazon too. So that's cool. Um, but yeah, I totally, again, I see how I go sidetrack. I, I swear I, I, if you give me, if you give me some time, I'm going to sidetrack super duper easy. I don't know why it's just because, um, and okay. So we're going, back, <laughs> we're going back to the wing. I do apologize guys. If you guys feel like this is a, a weird podcast, or a weird episode it probably is but i wanted to give you an update and and give shout outs to these guys who helped me out so you know big ups thank you very much i appreciate it if i can dap give you give you a fist bump or whatever you know what i mean uh thank you guys very much uh, but the wing okay the wing is the wing is done uh there's pictures up uh i'll give you a rundown on why i did it and uh, you know why before i was talking about you know uh, the way and style of uh, a 
of what I did and, and how I did it, the reasons. But the 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 new the new style here is a little bit overkill. I don't normally do this, but I wanted to. I wanted to see what it's capable of and see if the frame can handle it. Um, I'm using gear <clears throat> or a motor that was purchased from Hobby King that I bought a while ago, and I just didn't really know what to use it on. So, um, Hobby King, thank you very much. Even though uh, I do, I have bashed you guys in the past, but I would like to say thank you very much. If you listen, I don't know. If you don't, um, that's cool. But I got a motor from them. About two motors, actually. They're in runners that were like in the like the sub sub forty dollar range. It was freaking crazy. I did a watt test on it, and uh, <laughs> it did. It was at ninety six amps. So ninety six amps at nineteen hundred watts, and I I was. Barely hit half throttle. I couldn't even go anymore because I was like, "Oh, that's we're gonna burn something up." So once I popped that, looked at the looked at the numbers, dropped the throttle, checked the temperature. Temperature was just it was warm, wasn't too bad. But holy crap! Um, and that hence the me ordering props from APC. See how that works around. <laughs> I got I got a reason for this, um, but. Uh, the motor is is a really nice looking motor. Uh, again, would like to appreciate the cheap and the availability of having parts like this at at the Hobby King. So, um, if there are any other motor manufacturers out there who would like to step up and meet my needs, I'm saying shoot me an email, track me down. Let's get something going um, because like I have a bunch of brand of motors that I would like to see a nice combo uh, in these motors. So um, yeah, I'm just testing a bunch of motors. I got this one and another one to test. I have two other smaller ones that I want to test and see how they do. But um, it's, it's doing good. The um, ESC is doing fine on this rig. It's a Castle 100 ESC. I'm going to try to keep it below 100, even though the, the ESC is rated like, a, like 120, 130 um, around there. But I'm definitely going to keep it around uh, under 100 amps. And uh, the system here is running two 4S in series. So 8S, 3700 milliamp. Um, it is v it's a heavy craft. And so with the weight and ju ju judging... Um, the amount of pool that I want, I, I put uh, the, the behemoth and the dreadnought style servos, so the large standard size servos, instead of my uh, 15 or 14 gram Hextronic servos. So I upgraded the servos, they're nice and big. I put 440 rods in there with carbon sleeves that are overkill. It's a little goofy goofy looking but it actually looks pretty cool because they are oversized and they're like what up they got so much pull they'll probably pull your pull your chonies down um but they're stronger and they're stronger in hell man i i tried to like figure out how how strong they were by holding them and uh they didn't stop they just they just torqued straight through me which was pretty cool i was excited um let's see what else i have a gopro session on the front and that's one of the reasons why I'll, I'll trickle down i wanted to put a uh gopro not a gopro a run cam 3 the session clone uh or version on there so i didn't damage my session because we all know how, the, how those are uh in price wise so i the the, the holder itself is uh cj helped me out and um cj on instagram i think I, I i put some of his his uh his links on there um uh, in the past if you go to my instagram again and look for the session holder that i mounted in there um cj i i linked i linked him there so you guys can go check him out and contact him so that's there uh thank you very much cj i appreciate it i appreciate it i really do um but it, it's looking, man, it looks freaking, I want to fly it, but it's, we're, it's rain. It got rain today, which is, uh, let's see, what's today? Today's Thursday. 
so it's raining right now. I wanted to go flying. Um, Thursday, there's a Friday. It's going to be raining. It says Saturday and Sunday. So it's, it's raining, man. I don't know what to do. I wanted to go fly it and made it and go check it out. So it, it's raining. No fun. No fun in the sun, uh, this weekend. So it's done. Uh, I, I, I did the CG CG, um, is, is in the, within the given dimensions um it's very heavy so i'm thinking it weighs like around five pounds in weight but the motor uh is totally fine uh, it's a nice thick thick airfoil that i think it's going to do really nicely because it is weighted down but at the same time the thick airfoil will generate a lot of lift where it really wouldn't see you know it's gonna you know you can fly it uh nice and slow and it'll still kind of just glide and i think it's going to be just put it like i don't think i know because i've built other aircrafts that are similar to this that are three and four s setups that are that heavy because of the big payloads like 6600 milliamp um it does fine so i know this is 8s it's the same weight and it, it flies great i'm just what i want to do is check um to see if uh the frame can handle uh 2000 2000 watts i'm just i'm just checking i'm just checking check check one two um and see how it does i'm not too sure how it's gonna hold up well i know it's gonna hold up put it like this i know it's hold up because i know it's gonna hold up because i built it to to hold up and the prior tests before this um the way i structured all the sparring and stuff um i i increased it and added more so and then some safety um string around the edge similar to crash test hobby so I, I know it's going to hold, put it like this. I know it's going to hold. I just want to get out there and fly and, and test it so I can say, yes, it worked and get some video up so I can show you guys my progress and, uh, you know, show you, I'll show you my results, put it that way. Show me, show you my results. So, um, yeah, I, I, uh, I really, really am excited about this wing because I think it's going to be, uh, a six or, or eight or a 6s setup i can do both and see how it holds up but i'm really excited i just can't i can't wait i can't wait to see what it's going to look like uh and that when i when i get it done um yeah some guys it's <laughs> you know when uh when, when you're doing this a lot of guys ask how much you know it's going to be uh, and you know they, they they ask what they do is they ask for a price They're like how much is this going to be like what you know if you were building something how much how much would a wing cost from you? And I'm like, I was like, dude, I was like, it, it's going to cost a lot. Like, it's not going to be $300. It's going to be $400, $500 plus. Um, the, 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 especially when you upgrade the system, like, like here, like the ESC alone is like 130, um, for it. Plus the motor that I put on here is about 40, 40 plus or minus plus shipping. Right. Cause you know, I got to pay shipping and then I'm going to charge that on it when i charge you the the buyer so you know you're, you're you're looking at you know just for the motor and esc um you know you're probably looking just around 200 dollars just for that alone and um you know so stuff like that and then my time uh the the hardest thing about <clears throat> like the hardest thing about this hobby and to stay um to to this is i'm gonna kick you some knowledge okay you guys don't have to listen but this is to me it's pretty important and and i don't really charge a lot um i i while well, i try to i'm gonna try to get up try to get up in the mic it's what they call is eating the mic i'm gonna try to get up close but what what, what happens in, in our market in the rc market it's crazy when let's just say we're gonna use the wing that i have here um and it's on my instagram that you guys can see it's hard for me to charge a lot of money for it because in our hobby, when people see wings that are like, you know, 15,000 or 15, not 15,000, $1,500, um, it, it, it blows their mind because they're like, why would I pay that much for foam? And so when guys ask me, I'm like, look, dude, it's, it's a lot of money. Like you, I'm adding up my hours putting into this. Um, like these ones here are hand cut. So, you know, when I do it, I'm, I hand cut it and then I literally sand the whole entire wing. 
I glue it. I get all the little boogers off. I glue it up. I trim all the gluing or all the glue that's all done. I sand it again. I do the layout. That costs, you know, that's that's time. I'm giving you, you know, a rundown. You know, I'm giving you a rundown of why it costs so much. But and this one's not that much. This one's not for sale. Don't ask. Um, this one I'm gonna keep this one. This is my this is gonna be my new my new uh my new flyer. But you know, when I do layout, when you know, I'm I'm laying out for the specific gear that I purchased for this rig because all the gear's different. I decided to do a little bit overkill on this. So I'm, you know, I'm doing layout. That takes a little time. I want to make sure, you know, if I set this here, I'm not going to jeopardize any sparring down the line. Um, I want to increase sparring in this location over here. I want to put a spar over here. So that's a lot of time and 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 thinking out how stuff should work. And so some people want like, oh, I want an OSD. So I'm like, okay, so you want an OSD? You want to be, you know, this speed here. Um, so I got to make room for OSD. So that's all layout. Um, that takes a lot of time that some people just don't like, some people don't like, they don't like to pay that much for it, but, um, you know, they want it fast, uh, and they want it, they don't want to build it themselves. And that's why I keep telling us like, look, man, you got to build it yourself. Like you gotta, you gotta understand that when you're building something, you want to take pride in what you've, you are flying. It's like, it's like a car. You build a car up, you take care of it you, you care for it. You're not going to say, you know, you're not going to give your keys to the neighbor or, you know, somebody down the street and say, here, drive my car, um, take care of it. It's, it's, it's kind of like that. And, uh, and you know, some people might, ah, it's stupid. It's, it's, it's dumb, but that's what it is. I like, I'm sanding this down. I'm shaping it. It's like a surfboard. I'm sanding it. I'm shaping it. I'm laminating it. I'm laying everything out. Um, I'm gluing all these little nooks and crannies together um and putting the lay, lid in i'm cutting it strategically putting uh all the, like the batteries in cutting tunnels uh running lights in there you know people i don't think people really appreciate that um especially when i do it and I'm, i give them a price i'm like man i'm not gonna lie I, this is this is what it's gonna cost like usually like a normal build for me like a flinch um like a base build is about like six, like about six fifty. Like I ain't, I ain't gonna bullshit you guys. That's the, that's the truth. So if you guys, you can use these numbers and say, oh, he charges too much. But look, guys, I ain't gonna lie. I gotta charge you for something. It's gonna take my time. I'm building a wing for your ass. Does that make sense? You don't want to do it. I'm gonna charge your ass. So that's that's the kind of the concept of it. Um, the runs are a little bit cheaper, but the juggernaut you know, basic is about, about, about eight fifty. I ain't going to bullshit you guys. I'm going to tell you. Um, so, you know, if you guys, Oh, that's too much. Well, that's my time. And that's my effort. That's, that's me. It's like, think about this. When you go to an art gallery and you have, you want to buy an art piece, think about how much that, that, that art piece cost, you know, think about how much that painting cost. And if you think about it in the most basic terms, dude just whipped it out some colors and painted some shit on there. Fucking done. Four grand. What the fuck? Oh, but it's the character, right? It's, it's the design. It's the feeling that I had when I was tripping on fucking LSD and I was drawing this shit up and now I'm charging four grand. It's like, what the fuck? How the fuck? Uh, how are you going to do that? What? Well, that doesn't make any goddamn sense. I, look at, put it like this. When I went to, uh, my wife and I went to, uh, this is how funny this shit is. This is how funny art is. I love art, but this is how funny it is. Uh, my wife and I go, I'm just total sa- tangent again. So not a little tangent, this is a side story. Uh, <laughs> but uh, my wife and I, we go to uh, San Francisco. <clears throat> we go spend the night, goof around, go to the wharf. We go to the uh, bodies museum there that that was there um, we went to the there's a uh, an art gallery there there's an art like a smithsonian not a smithsonian but some some bullshit that was there and we're walking around and uh we we go to this this mural well it wasn't a mural it was it was a painting it was a huge canvas painted white two of them with the artist name and that was it it was two white canvases. The artist painted these large canvases white. 
That was it. And it was up there on display. What the fuck? That's that's the shit that uh, and it was probably charged thousands of fucking dollars. So when I go to go to this aspect here of what I'm creating, I'm giving you something that literally doesn't exist, right? I'm cutting it, especially when I hand cut them. I'm giving you something that doesn't exist. It comes from a block um, of material. I shape it, I cut it, and I build it. And I, I put all the stuff on here and all that time generates. It has to generate into something. So when someone gives me a price of like, oh, I'll buy it from you for 200 bucks, I'm like, what the fuck? And that's when you trigger a motherfucker. <laughs> no, it's, it's just funny to me. And um, when, I, when, I, when I say about sentimental value, I, I say, um, you know, when, when these people across the world or across, well, well you, the United States really, you know, when, when Colt, when Robert, um, help me out and design me something, you know, yes, it is just a sticker, but the sticker is a one of a kind sticker and it has uh, a logo on it that I designed and I put it on an aircraft and you know, the aircraft that I have in my shop right now has all these bits and pieces that other people have helped me out to kind of piece this piece together, um, in, in, a, in a, in a nice, in a nice object. And the object has sentimental value for me. So um, I think that's probably one of the reasons why I'm such a horrible salesperson is I'm so connected to my shit. <laughs> can't help it. I really can't help it. Um, and it's it makes it very difficult for me to, to do stuff like this um, and, and sell it, especially if I want to make it. I, I feel connected to it. So um, yeah, that's just, I'm, that's just, I figure I would rant and give you uh, you guys are probably gonna fucking laugh at me, but look at guys. I, as a, as a builder, man, in this fucking industry, I've seen so much shit out there. Uh, even, even now I'm, I'm looking at, uh, you know, the crafts that are out there. Like they want them cheap. People don't want to build nothing. People don't want to build anything, uh, and, and put their time in it. They just want something that's manufactured and done. And to me, as as a creator, I feel I feel I feel like we're we we need to fight harder to kind of put ourselves out there. And I'm gonna like even now I'm gonna continue to 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 put myself uh, my brand out there and and kind of show other people and kind of give uh, the product more momentum because I feel like when more people see it, more people are gonna understand the concept of us like the other manufacturers that are out there like right wing you know he's he's grinding um you know and and me goofing around and talking shit um and and, and you know making fun of his his stuff and you know tbrc you know me putting them in the conversation of 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 here this platform here um team legit um who else who else we got out there um crash test hobby uh, we got video aerial systems that are out there, you know, those guys, you know, if I forget you, my bad, but you need to know who you are. So when I bring them up in this conversation that I have by myself here on the podcast, whether I'm talking shit or I'm bringing them up and giving them respect, um, regardless of what I'm doing, like I'm, I'm, I'm making them relevant here generally, uh, in, in a sense where I bring their names up and you're going to think about it. You're going to, you're going to process the name. You're going to look for them and you're going to go out and hunt for those brands. So, um, you know, that's, that's all helping. It's, 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 it's helping, uh, like it's me for us companies here that, that are building stuff ourselves, um, and in the community that, that are helping each other. Right. Um, you know, it's, it's the best I can do, you know, for, for, for getting people to remember us as small companies that are still hand cutting stuff or that are still, you know, creating stuff out of nothing. Um, and it's, it's, it's helping each other out as best as we can. And, and I'm going to use this, this method here to kind of get it out there. So, you know, if I'm going to do my part, 
and and help you guys out because you know it's it's going to be tough those companies out there have a lot of money and they can produce something like on the go uh they they can totally wipe us out up uh, they can totally like dominate our market so easily they're probably doing it as i'm speaking they're working on a prototype they're working on a prototype mold um what's faster uh the mini quad market is what's the key right now i'm thinking you know thinking out loud you know how can we design an aircraft like the uh, like the s800 um for it to join the market and and have cheap parts on it uh especially parts that come off of mini quads because a lot of you guys uh, that are out there the fly of the mini quads the uh you know they have a lot of parts left over so you have a wing here you buy a kit you throw all your old gear in there and then you, you're ready to go you're rocking and rolling so they have the ability to kind of push into our market and make us make us um obsolete we'll put it that way and um so this method here if I have a, a, an ability to kind of get my, my message out, I'm going to use this method here. And, uh, and I'm, I'm, it's basically, you know, playing my part, uh, and, and doing it that way. Does it, does this sound like I rambled off? <laughs> I, <laughs> if it did, I do apologize, but I'm hoping there's a little bit of knowledge out of each segment that I did discuss that might set good, um, a good president in your, or president 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 in you know your thought your thinking um and i hope it has some kind of relevance to your 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 thought process i'm just i'm just hoping i like to think out loud or i'm i like to think uh and i have a lot of conversations in my head mentally so this is again this is me venting um and and putting it on the mic so uh wish i wish i wish i wish uh i don't know <laughs> I, I'm just, it's just, this is how it goes. I, I do uh, enjoy doing this. It's, it's a lot of fun for me. It's a different outlet for me to play with um, and play with all the cool gadgets um, that I see and that help me make a better product in the end for you. So uh, I think, yeah, we're not going to do a, um, a video of the week uh, again, only because the, uh, I wanted to record this and get it out there again i just i usually want to i said before if i if i write it down it would be better for me but right now i was thinking fresh just had dinner kids are going to bed well they went to bed a while ago well we had dinner a while ago but they're they're in bed now so i just ran over here and pressed the record button thought i'd throw some shit on the on the tapes for you guys to listen to so uh yeah i don't really know anyways um <laughs> i'm gonna end it here i uh just want to give a shout out to the companies that I did give a mention to, uh, thank you very much for being out there and, and the guys who have helped me out, uh, you know, on my side, I'd like to pray, pre, you know, say thank you. And I'm very appreciative to, for what you guys are doing right now. Go check them out, follow them, search them, Google them, uh, and, and do it that way. Uh, my, my turn. So, uh, sweep wings RC is my company. I would like to say thank you very much for putting up with me on this, this little, uh, tangent rant uh vlog pog pog type hashtag pog <laughs> um yeah but just go follow follow me too uh i'm on youtube uh check my page there i'm on instagram check my page there links are in the description below um facebook you can find me on facebook uh twitter you can find me on twitter mainly sweep wings rc you can find me there uh Think that's it i don't know where else to go just send me a like hashtag whatever link me that way i can see it because sometimes i don't see it uh yeah i think that's it i'm gonna end it here because i'm gonna i'll keep going i'm gonna think of something else i'm gonna start looking at a bunch of bullshit i'm gonna start fucking ranting on this fucking duck i have over here in my shelf that my buddy gave me uh to play with i don't know why i have a duck don't don't ask um I got these EDFs that I just looked over. I don't know why the fuck I looked at them. God damn, I'm covering my eyes now. All right. Uh, with that, I would like to say thank you for your time. And until next time, guys, peace.